Ah, no one found the good stuff. All right, Got games over here. All right, so this is a 4th of July estate sale. Uh, we're in the garage right now. They had a bunch of good stuff. Right now I'm fixing to go to this big box of clothes. And it is packed full of name brand clothing and military clothing. I ended up buying the whole box. Uh, I think I ended up giving $15 for the whole box. I mean, and it's just a ton of stuff. We'll go through that later, though. So, uh, yeah, this is a good day. That's my stepfather in front of me. My mom's with me, my wife, and my kids, and my niece, and her boyfriend. So, it's a good time. That's the box right there, full of stuff. So, anyway, now we move on. There's a bunch of military stuff over here, but it was all way overpriced. Uh, went back on the half-off day, and most of it was already gone. I mean... I say overpriced, it's probably priced very well, but I'm really cheap and didn't want to spend $600 on, you know, stuff I didn't know much about. I did get two bags though. So now we move on. Uh, we go to this little bedroom, it was the girl's bedroom. And uh, there's a couple things in here I pick up, I believe. Yeah, I, I do, I pick up a bathing suit here in a moment. And it's 4th of July. So I uh, definitely needed this bathing suit I'm about to pick up. And I spot it right now. Boom. Pick it up. Check it out. Look at it. Would you just look at it? Just look at it. That's America as it gets. So I'm getting that for myself. Then I find these. These right here are vintage uh, Reeboks. Pretty sweet and in great condition. Just a little dirty. And that's about all I found in here. I didn't find much of anything else. No other shoes. They were all rough and ragged and stuff. All right, this is the room that had all the goodies in it. First thing I come up to is the video games. Doom ended up grabbing that. There's a couple good games I got here, and I actually picked up more on the second day than on the first day. Or no, the third day. Cause that's when they had everything half off i got more video games then everybody looked them over dark souls 2 i grabbed that uh mr cash is trying to help me out uh and pick up the skyrim it was broken the box was um spyro for gamecube i ended up grabbing that can't remember what else i grabbed in this in this bin no, there was a bunch of good stuff in there. I ended up leaving most of it until the third day, though. Third day, I came back and kind of played cleanup with a lot of stuff. Let's see. Now, Nolan here found this. This is some type of fan modular for, like, some gaming system or something or computer. Picked it up for 10 bucks. It was actually worth 200 He sold it that same day, actually, for, I think, 200 uh, this right here was priced 10 bucks, but it was only worth like 20, so I left it behind. We find deals at estate sales, and we find deals at Applebee's. <laughs> hey, babies, get what you want there, bro. Hey, girls. Hey, girls. Dinner's on, Daddy. Don't worry about it, because guess what? Daddy's got this. What's going on, everybody? Happy 4th of July. This is Discount Dalton here with another haul video to show you what we got today. It is July 4th and there was an estate sale today. Didn't think you would see one on 4th of July, but there was one and I'm really glad that my mother convinced me to go because I got a ton of great stuff and it was priced so well. The whole entire yard sale was, or not yard sale, estate sale was priced amazing. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you what we got. I'm going to go through it pretty quick because it is a lot of stuff. I'm going to just hit the high points and go from there. Uh, so here we go. Check it out. All right. I know my house looks a mess, but that's because I, this is everything I got at the, the state sale. So this box right here, which is still filled with a bunch of stuff, but we'll get that. This whole box was completely filled up to about right there. I believe I have a picture. If I do, I'm going to put it on the screen right now. If not, we're just going to keep moving. Uh, so it was filled right there and then I filled another box and then I filled another box 
filled with items, clothing, and everything in between. So, uh, for that box right there, that big one, the first one, the lady wanted 50 cents a piece on all the clothing. I just came out and said, hey, would you let me do, give you 10 for the whole box? She said, well, that's a lot in there. Why don't you give me 20? I said, 15? She said, perfect. We shook on it. And first off, this right here is nothing but military stuff. Uh, they are a military family. Her husband just got out, and now they are moving back home. Uh, he's been stationed here, so just selling all this stuff. And they had a ton of camel packs and, uh, like, what is that? Bulletproof vest and all types of military equipment. I just didn't have the money to buy it today. But if it's still there tomorrow, I'm probably going to spend some money again. But anyway, so, yeah, I got all that right there. Now, I can guarantee I get my money back. For everything I spent today, I spent a total of $60. I know for a fact, right here alone, I probably had 30 to $75 haven't really gone through condition and I really haven't looked up prices, but at least 30 to $70. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get all my money back with just right here. Everything else will be completely profit, which is awesome. So with that being said, we're gonna start, well, let's start with some of the good stuff. Okay, shoes. These Dockers right here are in amazing condition. Uh, they look hardly used at all. They got a little bit of wear on the bottom, but very, very, very little. I got these for 50 cent, so. That was good. So I'm just going to yeah, do that, clear it off. Uh, these vintage Reeboks right here. These are old as junk, man. And they're white, purple, brown, and black. Yeah, very, very good color scheme. Once again, 50 cents. Perfect. Those are about the best shoes that C had there, though. Uh, this is an American Embassy Prague, Czechoslovakia coffee cup. I paid a quarter for it, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get 10 to $20 for that. Uh, embassies are all over the world pay pretty good. These right here are thermo, uh, thermo glasses for like coffee or, or not coffee, uh, lattes, quarter piece. Uh, my wife actually found these right here, some good cassette tapes. And with cassette tapes, I usually keep them until I get a bunch and then I'll sell them as a lot. Uh, Creed, Hank Williams, and ACDC, great. Paid a quarter for all three of them, so all three of them for a quarter. Games, they did have some great games. PS3, Dark Souls 2, good game, sells for about 10. Super Smash Brothers Brawl, this is for Wii. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up getting about, I think 15 for that, but what I'm gonna do, instead of selling it by itself, I'm gonna sell it with a Wii. I bought a Wii for $10, has everything in it. Uh, it's not in the greatest condition, but it does work, so that's a good thing. So with the Wii and that right there, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get 40 to 45, maybe 50. So uh, it'll increase the value of the Wii itself. Next, uh, I always tell people to look for it. Anything anime usually sells really, really well. This right here, I can't even pronounce it. And all I know is Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations. Uh, that goes for about 10 to $20. Uh, GameCube, Spyro, Enter the Dragon. I think that goes for about 10, 15. And I didn't look it up. PS4, Call of Duty, Black Ops 3. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a newer game. I'll probably be able to get $10 to $15 for it. So, those are the games. There's the Wii. Moving on. Uh, as I was leaving, I saw this. This is a camel back. Not a camel pack, but a camel back. Uh, it's in great condition. He used it when he was running and stuff, so I'm going to clean this up. And I paid 3 bucks for it, and I know I'll probably get you know, $15 to $25 for it. Now, clothing-wise, let's go look at the nice jeans. These right here are a pair of Helix jeans. I'm gonna get about 10 bucks for them. That's all I'm gonna get, they're not that great. Uh, these are some Pantagonia, probably saying that wrong. I'm uh, pretty sure that I'm not rich enough to be able to pronounce half of these brands. Uh, don't know, really, these are like some thermal pants. I'm not sure what they're worth, but my wife says that Pantagonia is a good brand. These right here are Columbia pants. These are like really soft pants that can be made into shorts. Uh, easily five to ten dollars a pair. I've got two of them. I got that one and that one right there. Under that, I have some 2XU, I believe it's what it's called. 2XU. Let me make sure of that. Yeah, 2XU. These are cycle shorts, is what you know, cyclists wear and makes them look goofy. Next, I got these two pairs of red camel pants. Still brand new with a tag, $48 a piece. 
Uh, their shorts, Red Camel's a decent little brand. I'll maybe get, you know, 10 to 15 a piece for them. Sophie uh, PT shorts. So uh, I got four pair of these. Actually, we've probably got about 10 all together. And on top of the 10 of like these, the little shorts has some Nike shorts. I have some Reeboks. It's other ones, but my wife confiscated all of them, but these four. So try to sell these four. I could be get about $10 for all four of them. Next, we're going to get away from clothes for a minute. And I'm going to show you this tactical. Before I show you this right here, let me just show y'all. Let me go through all this. Every piece of clothing in here costs 25 cents or less. I did not pay over a quarter for anything. There was probably a hundred pieces of clothing just in that box alone, maybe even more than that. And I got that for $15. And then I got a whole nother two boxes filled with stuff. And I got all that for a quarter piece. So that's just, that's a great deal. I don't really like to deal with clothing, but when it's like this, you can't, you can't pass it up. Next, I got this holster right here for five bucks. Uh, this is a military grade. This is military issued from what I was told. I'm not positive because I do not know. But uh, yeah, this right here is nice and great condition. And I got it for five bucks. I know I'm probably going to get about $50 for that minimum. This, I'm not really sure what it is. It is military grade. Uh, it's London Bridge Trading Company, but it's really heavy duty. It's like a pack or something. I don't know, but it's really heavy. Uh, it's really cool. Paid five bucks for that. Also, I have a tactical assault team gear or whatever, tag bag or something. But uh, this is also in great condition. Paid five for that. Uh, I hope I can get 20 bucks a piece for each of them, but maybe more, maybe less. Who knows? Next, we'll go back some more clothes. I got two pairs of nice Cabela shorts. Uh, they sell pretty well. I'll probably be able to get about five, ten bucks a piece for them. Uh, these tactical belts, I got three of them. All three of them are nice. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get five to ten bucks a piece for all these as well. Might wad them up together, get them gone for 25, but I need to look some of this stuff up and see what it's worth. And these three right here, I thought were awesome. These are nuclear weapon school t shirts, and these are vintage. Uh, there's the logo on the back uh, Defense Nuclear Weapon School, Albuquerque, New Mexico. This one right here is even cooler. It has a picture of like a bomb on the front. Don't try this at home, go to a friend's house. And on the back, it says one copy of Anarchist Cookbook, $7. Everything you need from the hardware store, 25. The ability to, or being able to do it all legally, priceless. I thought that was really cool. Then another one of them, this right here just has it on the front. So that, that was really cool. I'm going to have to do some digging in there, but shirts like I'm going to lot them together. Somebody who was in that school maybe will want them. You know, I think I'll be able to get 50 bucks for them. Now, let's get on to the Harley Davidson. Uh, first, Harley Davidson. This is from Florida. Uh, uh, Kissimmee, Florida right here. This is Dick, Dick Farmer's Harley Davidson. This is an older one. I'm not even sure if that's still around, but I'm going to check it out. Next. This one right here. This is from the United Arab Emirates, or how the hell you say that word. Uh, this right here should sell for some decent money. It's it's vintage and it's in great condition. I uh, found this in there as well. It's a Tampa Bay Rays, and it is brand new with tag. Maybe get about 15, 20 bucks for that. Let's look at some hats. I don't know what this brand is, but it looked really cool and it was in good condition. I'm about to look that up. That's really awesome. Uh, I got a military hat. It's in good condition. I'm going to try to clean it up. Got a vintage Universal Studios hat. This is very old and it's in great condition. Uh, then I got this hat as well. This is a this Fox Motorsports. It's brand new, never been used, and it's in great condition as well. Hats are really great. You know, I don't really sell that many of them, but they're easy to store and easy to, you know, put away. This whole stack right here one, two, three four, five, six, and seven. Those are all Wrangler Originals. I think that's what they're called. Yeah, Wrangler Originals. Wrangler Hero Originals is the brand name of them. Not sure how much they're worth, but we'll find out. Uh, let's go over here to these pants and shorts. These are all extremely nice. 
and they are made by True Spec. This is a tactical pants, is what they're called, tactical pants. Have eight pairs of them, all different colors, uh, shorts, pants, eight uh, or eight all together, eight or ten. I can't remember the exact number, but them sell for ten to twenty dollars piece used. So that's a great, great deal. This baby or this Gap Kids uh, Letterman jacket, uh, I got this for a quarter. <laughs> I I'll probably get ten dollars for that. All right, I'm telling you guys, I'm hurrying up. I know we're at 10 minutes, but this is a lot of stuff. Uh, Field and Stream, a nice little fishing shirt. This one is a Hurley. This right here is almost brand new. God, it was a lot of this stuff I wish was in my size. This guy was a smaller guy, you know, small to medium. All right, this one right here, this is a 5'11 Tactical. This next one also is a 5'11 Tactical. Nice. This right here is unzipped but look at that it's pretty damn cool so yeah this next one is a reef that's actually a really nice shirt as well then we got three by no uh, this right here is a caribbean joe then i got two of these tommy bahamas i got this one it's a solid color 100 percent silk the other one's down at the very bottom uh this one is arrow these are really nice dress shirts it just doesn't have a brand on them but these feel so nice. God, they feel amazing. So they got to be worth some decent money. Then another Field and Stream. And then here is a Columbia. The PFG or whatever they're called. Uh, yeah, you know. Then lastly, on this, the button-ups, we got another Tommy Bahama. Another 100% silk. Nice, nice shirt. Uh, lastly, over here. These right here are all Levi's that look almost brand new. I got one, two, three. I think there was nine pairs all together, but they all look brand new, man. <laughs> Levi's always do really good. If I'm pretty sure they're all the same size or close to it, so I might lot them all up, try to get them gone all at once. That's some stuff right there. I bought these today for me because America, you know. Then the rest of this in here is dry fit uh, t-shirts, and, uh, you know, Reebok, there's some, um, let's see, that's Reebok, Under Armour, and all types of stuff. Then they got these really, really comfortable, really, really comfortable socks. Anyway, guys, I got one hell of a deal for $60. All these clothing and everything else. Oh, I forgot, I bought some shelving units as well. Everything in here, $15, $22, I probably paid $30, $35 for everything in here. I bought some shelving units and bought my kids and my wife some stuff as well. So this is just probably $35 for the stuff I sold. I sold $35 or bought $35. So this is with the other bit of money. I bought this right here. I bought me a GoPro. It's like a knockoff GoPro, but I bought this for five bucks. So you're going to start getting some videos on this. Hopefully if it's good quality, five bucks I had to figure it out. So yeah. Uh, $35 for all of that, man. All of that. So, got a busy day tomorrow. We're going to go yard selling again. And uh, Saturday and Sunday, we're going to list everything in between yard sales and everything else. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the bell so you can be notified whenever I'm having another video. Sorry it took so long. This was a great haul. Wanted to show y'all. Have a great night. Happy 4th of July. Happy birthday, America. Yee yee. Have a great night, guys. Deep South Resale. This is Discount Dalton signing off.